Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I'm a board certified general surgeon. In this video, we're gonna talk about appendix pain. Why we're we gonna talk about appendix pain? Because you guys apparently search it like 49,500 times a month. So that's why I'm gonna talk about appendix pain. And plus I take the appendix out all the time. I see it like on a daily basis. Not a daily basis, like a weekly basis, I suppose. So I can just kind of talk about it and I don't really have to look at any notes, which is really good. Cause like, if you're a family medicine guy, like you don't really know that much about it. You, I mean, you kind of, you read the books and stuff like that, but you don't really know it have an intimate knowledge of the appendix. The pen, me and the appendix are like this, okay? This is what I'm trying, trying to tell you right now. So this is why we're gonna talk about appendix pain. So I'm just gonna go kind of ramble. I don't know if you've uh, noticed that already, but uh, <laughs> the appendix, uh, if you wanna know more about the appendix, you can go to some of my other videos. We'll put them up there, bing, bing. So the appendix is a tubular, structure located on the right side of the abdomen, uh, hanging kind of off the colon. And what the appendix does, nobody really knows. We think maybe it had some immune function at some point, but really most likely it doesn't do anything uh, right now that we know of, okay? So sometimes the appendix gets blocked uh, at the base. What happens is the bacteria that's normally in the appendix um, proliferates, which is what bacteria does, and then the appendix swells up and that's what starts causing the pain. So there's two things to know about appendix pain. First of all, probably searching appendix pain because you want to know where it is and that is in the right lower abdomen, what doctors like to call the right lower quadrant. So the appendix pain is on the right lower abdomen, but typically the appendix pain starts in what we call the peri-umbilical region and that's around the belly button. And the reason for that is the stretching of the appendix. When the bacteria starts to proliferate, it starts to uh, stretch the appendix. That is a different kind of pain that we develop in the appendix trajectory. So this first pain starts in the peri-umbilical region, okay? And so classically, the appendix pain starts around the belly button and it slowly moves down to the right lower quadrant. And the reason for that is that the appendix swells up and that is the stretching pain and we don't have a localization, our bodies can't localize where that stretches, we just feel it generally in our abdomen. And then later when the bacteria gets, uh, stretches the appendix so much that it starts to become inflamed, then the, then the appendix inside the abdomen starts to irritate the uh, lining of the abdomen. And so when the appendix starts to irritate the lining of the abdomen, then you start to get that pain, you, you can localize that pain and that pain is in the right lower quadrant. And we call it McBurney's point. Uh, so if you're a medical student or a resident, obviously you probably know where McBurney's point is. If you are not and you're looking at this video because you wanna know what the hell is going on with your body, McBurney's point is between the ASIS, which is the anterior superior iliac spine, otherwise known as the little uh, hip bone there, and your belly button. It is. Uh, halfway to two thirds away between those two things. And if you push on that area, that is the maximum point of tenderness, which we like to call in medicine, and that's where your appendix pain is. So two types of pain, generally, um, it is a somatic pain, which is or the stretching pain, and that is the peri-umbilical region. And then the pain moves to the right lower quadrant or the right lower abdomen when it starts to irritate the um, abdominal lining. So I hope that explains the appendix pain for you. Um, if you have any other questions about the appendix, check out my other videos. If you like these kind of videos, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel or share it with a friend. And can you do me like an extra favor and like the video? That would be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't worry, I'll change my shirt so it looks like I did these over multiple days, but really I'm just sitting down and doing like 25 at a time. See you next time.